It's the Montreal Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. Kevin Hart presents LOL at JFF. Y'all look good, man. It's a good looking crowd. It's good we can come together and laugh, you know what I'm saying? Because racism is getting out of hand. Like, I feel like if you're racist, you don't want to go to heaven. For real, you're going to be because there ain't going to be no all-white heaven. Like, you're going to be off when you find out Jesus is black. Like, come on, now they're taking all the good savior jobs, too. What is going on? <laughs> Jesus is going to be like, so what did you do with the cross that I gave you? I burnt a couple of them because I was trying to teach these darkies a lesson. <laughs> Jesus is going to be like, go to hell. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I'm like, no, all lives matter. <laughs> so this is the thing, because like, I'm from the South. Like, I grew up around good old-fashioned racism where it was in your face. Like, the water hose, the dog, I need to know. Like, ain't nothing worse than going to a little small town. Everybody hates you. You're the only person who don't know it. Like, Hollywood racism is completely different. Like, the other day I saw a commercial that me off. It was a white woman holding a bottle of Tide laundry detergent. She was like, try Tide. It keeps the whites whites, and it keeps the colors from running. You got my clothes smelling like sea breeze and segregation, rude. <laughs> and this is the thing, like living in the South, like it's hard. Like being a black man in the South, I got a friend, he black and Muslim. I call him two strikes. <laughs> you better not sneeze wrong. I'm in a place in my life I want to get in a relationship, but I'm scared. Because I don't know anybody who's in a relationship that's happy. You know what I'm saying? Like where I'm from, we get married early. Like back home, my best friend got married on prom night. <laughs> like I don't know if he was trying to save on the tux or whatever. For real, like, cause ain't nothing worse. You ever see a couple in a relationship and they broke up but haven't told each other yet? That's my, that's my boy, man. It's so uncomfortable because when we hang out, all he do is talk about what he don't like about his girl. But he's so scared of his girl, he got to check his phone when he talk about her. He like, man, she think I'm cheating all the time. It don't matter what I do. Like, last night I was asleep. She took my thumbprint and went through. Thought my phone was on. She had the nerve to go through my phone. <laughs> Like, dude, you ain't a victim, you a volunteer. <laughs> and then it's hard to date, too, because there's no rules. Like, where I'm from, you have rules to date. And like, quick question, ladies. At what point after meeting a man do you expect him to fight for you? Just curious. Immediately. Immediately. Wow. <laughs> Fellas, y'all hear that? She said, at hello, I'm responsible for your life. <laughs> wow. So if your ex show up right now, unannounced, fresh out of jail, wanting to talk, and he come over here and super sock you in front of everybody, it's my responsibility to save you. Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay, well, all right. This is why I have trust issues. Let me explain why. <laughs> Let me tell you why. This is my welcome to LA moment, right? So I was in my acting class and my acting coach said, hey, look, don't flirt with anybody because if you, have, if you have sex with somebody, you're going to mess the vibe up, right? Wait till after six weeks, then you can do it. I meet this really pretty girl and I'm flirting with her, right? She was just sitting in front of the class. I'm playing her hair. She's like, will you stop? I don't know why y'all do Y'all can be bald-headed and do this. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm playing her. She's like, will you stop? She was like, look, do you mind walking me to, to my car? I'm like, uh, yeah. So we go to the car, right? She started asking me. She said, are you single? I said, I am super single. I said, you seen anybody? She was like, I just broke up with my boyfriend. I was like, how long ago? She was like, does it matter? I was like, no, nope, uh, no. So <laughs> she's like, let's go on a date. So we go on a date. We have a good time. And you ever have a good date? and you scared, like, nobody want to be the thirsty person to ask, you want to hang out a little longer? So we in the car looking goofy, like. <laughs> she was like, you mind coming up for a minute? I'm like, uh, yeah. So we go upstairs, right? We having a good time. We in the living room, she started kissing me. I'm like, all right, you better slow down. All right, about to get crazy. So she was like, it is so hot in here. You gonna want to go in my room? It's a little bit cooler. I'm like, uh, yeah. So we go in her room, right? And fellas, you ever had a moment where the girl let you know it's okay to take the drawers off? Any straight dudes in here? Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> she on the edge of the bed, and I'm trying to get her drawers off, and she hit one of these. <laughs> nobody, nobody out here living, just me, really? Me and him, the Asian guy. Okay, so the rest of y'all, nobody. Okay, I'll do it again for me, all right. <laughs> she take them drawers off, I'm like, yeah! But then I hear, open the door. I'm like, oh, shoot. I was like, what was that? She's like, I don't know. I was like, oh, shoot, you got some loud roaches. <laughs> then I hear, open the door, Cupcake. I'm not playing with you. I'm like, Cupcake? Who is Cupcake? She's like, oh, my God, that's him. I'm like, him who? Like, my ex. I'm like, oh, shoot. She was like, I don't know what to do. I was like, I'll tell you what you're not going to do. You're not going to open this door while I'm over here. 
<laughs> she was like, I don't want any drama. I'm like, drama is knocking at the door. So I did, I did what I know to do best, right? I said, you know what we gonna do? Little daddy got this. That's what I call myself when I'm feeling confident. I said, little daddy got this. We gonna go to sleep. So I lay down and go to sleep, right? <laughs> and I'm knocked out. I'm sleeping like a fetus. I didn't get none. I'm pissed off. I'm knocked out. Next thing I know, I hear, open the door. I'm not playing with you. It is six o'clock in the morning. Don't you know she jumped up and opened the door when I was asleep? That's what I said too. I'm like a grown man, like, ah! like as a grown man, it slipped up. At this moment, God spoke to me. God was like, son, I need you to arise. And when God speak to me, I listen. I jump up, I put my pants on, I step into my shoe in the wrong foot. There's a crack in the door. I can hear him kick the door, I'm like, boom. He comes toward the crack, the crack is getting dark. He kicks the door, I'm like, boom, you in my, you in here with my girl, what's up? I was so scared, I started explaining for them. I was like, hey man, look, we was in acting class, right? And we were supposed to work on the scene. I suggest we go to Starbucks. She was like, we should come back to your place. I'm like, why would I want to do that? But what really came out was, he was like, shut up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he was like, you better get out of here right now if I kill you. I was like, can I get my shoe? He was like, no. I was like, I didn't want the shoe anyway. So I run downstairs, right? <laughs> I'm down the street, two, uh, two blocks down. I'm in the alley looking like a ghetto flamingo, right? <laughs> I'm texting her like, please hurry and bring my shoes and my keys. I hate you, sad face sin, right? <laughs> she was like, I'll be there in a second. Okay, I was like, please hurry up. My feet cold. Stop for a second. White folks, why do y'all walk y'all dog 24 hours a day? Can we talk about that? <laughs> it don't matter what time of day, the season, the weather. We can be in a hurricane. Y'all walking a dog like, what? <laughs> Cut to, I'm standing by the car. The girl is running at me full speed with nothing in her hand. I'm like, uh, where my stuff at? She's like, oh my God, he was chasing me, so I didn't have time to bring nothing. So, so you run toward me? Really? <laughs> At this moment, dude show up out of nowhere. He was like, didn't I tell you to leave? I'm like, I'm trying to leave, but you keep chasing me. He get mad at both of us, grab her by the hair, and dog walk her back to the apartment. She's like, oh my God, he gonna kill me, help. And I'm like, uh, no. That's my time, y'all run, G, God bless you.